holy child in the world, come stand before your Father in heaven this day. Come worship me this day in spirit and in truth. Come, give unto me your whole heart and soul, mind, body and spirit. I see myself standing before the Father in heaven, the great I am, my creator, my God. I am so small before him. He is everything. He is the entire universe. He is all that has been and all that is to come. He is peace. He is rest. He is unconditional love. I worship you, Father, my Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, blessed Holy Spirit. I come before you this day giving unto you all the praise and honour and glory that I can. My life I dedicate to you. Blessed child, thank you for standing before me this day. Thank you for your love and devotion and faithfulness and worship. Thank you for separating your whole self unto me, for walking away from the world and entering into this deep place of worship. You will lead others into this secret place, this place of this sacred place of worship, devotion. For those who are hungry, those who wish to separate unto me completely, those who wish to give unto me their whole lives, laying down the world and walking in, entering in to this deep place of worship. Oh Father in heaven, my soul is so hungry for you. So hungry for this time, I will give up everything to spend time with you. Until my very last breath, I wish to worship you. For you are worthy of all praise, and you are worthy of all my time. There is no one on the earth who deserves more time than you. People come and they waste so much time talking, gossiping, needless chatter. I do not want to waste any more time, my Lord, away from you. Blessed child, you will lead many into worship. Your ministry is worship, to worship me in spirit and truth, to show others how to come into this sacred place, this place of glory, separate from the world. My Lord, I had to rise early this morning. I had to, I had to awaken at 4 a.m. And my flesh, I struggle with my flesh. My flesh desires to sleep. And my spirit yearns for you. And therefore, I will arise at 4 a.m. because it is the most beautiful time to worship. It is so glorious, my Lord. No words can describe how beautiful this time is on the earth to worship you. Halaharabahesh, as the dawn is breaking, 
the sounds of the earth, the birds starting to sing, the fresh air. To see the darkened sky become light, to see the sun rise, to know that I am here for another day. Oh, how I love you, how I desire to worship you, and thank you for this day, this beautiful day in creation. Thank you for this time upon the earth. I am so thankful to be here, so grateful. I do not wish to complain about a single thing. Forgive me for any grumbling. Thank you, Lord, that I am Krahashiki Yahanahashiki, be filled with a grateful heart. A grateful heart to be alive on this day. My child, beautiful one, step closer to me this day. Step closer to your Father in heaven. I see myself in spirit and truth walking towards my Father. He is so glorious. His peace fills my body, my temple on the earth. I feel his golden glory flowing through me, through my physical flesh. I fall to my face in worship. I cannot stand to be with the one who created the world, the universe. My Karahashiki, the one who created me, who knows me. Have I let you down, Father? I do not want to let you down on the earth. It is hard, Allah for me to come before you such as this. For I feel so unworthy, like I have failed you. Who is being saved by this ministry? Who is listening to these words? Lord, I pray for an anointing on these words. I pray that people will listen. People will come and listen to your holy words, speaking to them each day. My child, beautiful one, all you need to do is turn up and I will give you these words for the nations. And then let it go. Do not worry. Do not be concerned. Those who need to hear my words will hear. Those who have ears to hear will listen. Eyes to see. And these words will awaken them. Bring them to life. Those who wish to worship will come. Will join you. They understand the beauty of worship of standing before your Heavenly Father and wanting nothing else. I see the Father, he reaches out his hand and he places them in mine. It is the only place I want to be, in the hands of my Father, in the arms of my God. My child, your spirit is eternal. You know me well. You are living on the earth for a short while. During this time, you will minister for me. You will stand before me night and day and you will recite my words to the nations. I will give my words to you line by line. At this time, a ministry of words begins. Words from your Heavenly Father to the nations, and you will release these words for me. I have much to say to the world. Thank you for being my scribe. Thank you for writing down these words, these holy words for the nations and releasing them. Father, I love writing your words. I love coming before you and listening to your voice. 
I love declaring your messages across the land. I pray you will bring people to listen to them. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful ministry of writing, scribing, words from heaven. Thank you for the mysteries of God being released across the world at this time. Thank you for these messages that we are releasing now. I pray for a great awakening of souls across the land. I thank you, Lord. I see angels at this time. Lady Anokoroboshiki, they are carrying books, the books of heaven. So many books. I see a library of books. I feel like I'm in the library of heaven. My child, every book that is written on the earth for me, for my glory, it is kept here in the library of heaven. It is recorded for eternity. The books that are being released on the earth are also in heaven. There are so many books, Lord. Generation after generation of people who scribe for you you write books to bring praise to your holy name. The books are here, I see them. In heaven, we can come and we can read these books from the earth. The words do not disappear. We can come to this great library and read. Everything is recorded. This is so beautiful to see that you care for the words of man, the written words of man, as we care for your words, Lord. You care for our lives. You care for all that we have done on the earth. I see another room. It's like an art gallery filled with paintings, with art and sculptures, and drawings, and sketches. My child, everything that Hikarahashiki man does on the earth is recorded in heaven. It will be here when you return. The artists that you love, their paintings, they are here. They are here for you to see for eternity. They will not disappear. The creative work of man is in heaven. It will be here when you return. I see another room, the music room of heaven. I see musical notes. I see songs. A little more pages of songs. I hear the songs. My child. Every song that was written. Songs that give glory and praise to my holy name. Songs that honor my son. Songs of worship are all recorded in heaven. And for eternity you can come and listen. Listen to the songs. Songs of man, songs that man wrote to praise my holy name. But there are also other songs, beautiful songs that you love to listen to. Man's life is so important to me. What you do and achieve on the earth, it matters to me. And I keep a record of everything. Every good thing, every good thing that man does on the earth is recorded in heaven. All of your creative ideas and efforts, you all have a book, your very own book, with your story written. Haleni Anahasha, everything you do is being recorded at this time. Even this very moment now, my child, is being recorded in heaven. And one day you can read it. You can read your story. The things man enjoys on the earth will also be in heaven. 
What are you doing now? Karahale will be reflected in the heavenly realm because you enjoy it. What you enjoy eating will be there. What you enjoy doing will be there. Being with friends and family, socializing. You will not be restricted or isolated. You will enjoy listening to the birds singing, sitting by streams of living water, walking through the forest, Thank you, Lord, for this revelation today. Thank you for showing me these rooms of heaven, of the creative rooms of heaven. Oh, Lord, I see another room, and I see people dancing, like ballet dancing. I see people twirling, like ballerinas dancing. Oh my child, there are so many ballerinas dancing in heaven at this time. There are so many dancers. Dancing is a beautiful expression of worship, of praise, and you will be able to dance in heaven. I see another room of people singing, singing beautifully. Oh, the sound, the beautiful voices that were on the earth. We will be able to listen to them in heaven, people. Aleria will sing. I see musical instruments, I see a room filled with people playing. Takara drums and guitars and flutes and violins and harps, all the musical instruments we will be able to play. I see people doing what they did on the earth. I see myself painting. She painting colour paradise. Whatever we enjoyed on the earth, we will be able to do in heaven. I see people walking, going for walks, exploring, climbing. I see so many things. People are so happy. It is a place of freedom where we can do all that you created us to do. Without the hard toil of working, striving, trying to earn money, we don't need to earn money in heaven. All of that is gone, and therefore we can be free to be creative and be who we truly are. The things we long to do, we can do. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you for showing this to me this day. Oh, how we long for a world free where we do, <laughs> free of working. Where we have to go to jobs we do not like or want to be at that take up so much time just to earn money to pay our bills and rent. Oh, the burden man carries having to earn money to buy food. In heaven you provide all of our needs. And therefore we are free free to paint and dance and draw and sing songs and write music, to play instruments, to walk, to have unlimited time to do these things. Thank you, Lord, for eternity. Oh, how we will love to do these things, to praise you, to adore you and thank you for this beautiful gift to humanity. Father, we praise you for this eternal story. 
We thank you that we are a part of this story. I love you and I wish to hold hands with you forever. Beautiful child, never let go of my hand. You are with me now in a place of worship. You stand before me night and day. You will write my words, you will record these words, you will release the mysteries of God during your time on the earth. Everything I need to say will be said through your hands, through the hands of those who have been called to scribe for me. I will release my words to the nation. Now and into eternity, I love you. Amen.